Welcome to the Smart Business Show with Curtis McHale. This is episode four. This is the fourth topic that I covered in my manifesto, which you can get on my site at curtismchale.ca. It's free. Today we're going to talk about clients. We will only work with prospects that fit our ideal client profile. Stepping back, that means we actually have to work it out. What is our ideal client? Who do we want to work with? Remember, you spend more time with these clients than you spend with your family. I don't know about you, but I married a woman that I really liked. And after 15 years, that's still something I, I really like. I like to hang out with her. But I spend more time at work interfacing with my clients and doing projects for them than I do hanging out with her. So why on earth would I pick clients I don't like? So we're going to ask ourselves the questions, what clients do I want? What does my ideal client talk about? What happens after a phone call? I got off a client call earlier today. We laughed five or six times on the phone together. We have good ideas or our ideas mesh together on the things that we want to talk about and things we want to accomplish in life overall. What projects have been the most fun and profitable in the last six months? We're going to ask that. And then when we have a client that doesn't meet those things, we're going to say no. We're going to say, I'm sorry. This You just don't fit currently. I'm sorry, your timelines don't mesh mesh together. I'm sorry, you want three calls a week or three calls a day? That doesn't work with me. And we're going to say no. Remember, we're not going to see these people again. We're going to have recommendations if we think there is someone that is a good fit. But we're not going to worry about being people pleasers. We're going to pick the ideal clients. Because when we pick our ideal clients, when we say no to the non-ideal clients, we have room to take the good clients so that we can do work that we're proud of. Our most productive tool in keeping our business life sane is the word no.